Hey guys, this is Mike the Scrapper. Today we're going to be looking at hard drives. Are these drives okay to sell as is, to go into another computer, or do they need to be scrapped? There are a few types of docking stations and software to use, and I'll show you what I use to keep you on a budget. This docking station is fairly priced and reads three types of drives. The first drive is a 3.5 inch IDE. The second is a 2.5 inch IDE. And the third is a 3.5 inch SATA. Now you're probably wondering, what is an IDE? What's a SATA? No problem. Let's take a quick tour of these drives and I'll show you. Here you see an IDE drive. Notice all the pins. This drive would be connected to ribbon wire and then connected to another drive or it would connect directly to your motherboard. This is an older drive that is still in use today. Now this is a SATA drive. Notice the pins have changed. Also the cables have changed. Now it looks less cluttered when you open your computer. Why they changed the cables? You'll have to Google that. I want to show you how to make money with hard drives. So let's look back at the docking station. Behind it, we see some connections. Power switch, 12 volt wall plug-in, eSATA port, and a USB connection. This docking station only comes with a wall plug-in and a USB cable that connects to your computer. In front, you see a list of slots for almost all your video cards so you may upload pictures and video. The USB host, you won't need to look at that right now. So hard drives come equipped with a software called SMART. It's an acronym for Self Monitoring Analysis and Reporting Technology. This tells us a lot of information on the drive. We can use our computer and use a command prompt, but we're going to use an easier software called Crystal Disk Info. I like this software better than the others like HD Tune and Disk Checkup, but you decide. Crystal Disk Info is a free software that you can get off the internet. I will leave a link in the description. Now that the software is operating, you can see I have two hard drives installed on my computer. Both drives are in working order. One is a Toshiba 2TB and the other is a Western Digital 1TB drive. Let's install another drive in the docking station to see the health and any other information. The first drive will be this Maxter 160GB SATA. I will install it in the SATA port and turn on the docking station. After refreshing the software, you can see some problems with the drive. If this drive was in my computer, I would immediately purchase another drive equal or greater in storage space and transfer all my information. Now let's look at this Weston Digital 80GB SATA. Out of all the hard drives out there, everyone tells me that Western Digital is the best. Looking at this drive, we can see it is healthy and can be used as a backup or sold. Here we have another Western Digital drive. Again, this drive looks in excellent working order. This is a Samsung 160GB SATA. And again, this drive is in excellent condition. This will go in my pile of sellable drives. Now we have a Seagate 1TB drive. After inspection, you can see the health indicates caution. So again, back up this drive if it was yours. Also, if you do plan to sell healthy drives, you may be asked about the power on count and the power on hours. In a quick explanation, Power on count shows how many times the computer has been turned on with this drive and power on hours shows how long this drive has been running. You can Google all this information if you're curious. Now I will show you a few more drives and the conditions they are in. Just take a look at the health, power on count and so on. You won't be a pro overnight, but it will make you a little wiser in determining your drive health status.
Now let's say you have a drive and you're curious to see what's on it. First go to the drive you want to view and on your mouse click the right button. Then select your virus scan and click or hit enter. This will check for any viruses, malware, adware or anything this drive might have. Then you'll be able to see what is on the drive. But if you were to open one without a full virus scan, you would end up infecting your computer with any of the viruses that's on this hard drive. So now let's say you just installed the drive and it won't show up on your screen. You can hear the drive and by putting your hand on it, you can feel it working. Go to I would guess would be my computer on Windows 7 and XP. Mine is Windows 8. Then click the manage button. Click on disk management. It may take a minute to find all the drives. Now you can see my drives. And you're going to scroll down till we see an unallocated drive. Next, we're going to right click the drive and we're going to format the drive. Click New Simple Volume. The wizard will show up. Click Next. Now you will see some information about the drive. You don't have to worry about this. Just click Next and it will ask you to assign a letter. This again is not needed. Leave as is and click Next. This now will format the hard drive. Once you see the Finish button, click on that and it will format the drive. As you can see, the drive is formatting. Now let's see if all this work was done for nothing. Now after running your diagnostics, you can see this is a bad drive. No problem, at least you have an idea of what to look for when you're working with hard drives. So now you have separated your good drives from the bad ones. Now you want to wipe these drives clean so you can use them or put them up for sale. I use a free software called CCleaner and I'll put it in the link below. Load CCleaner and click the Drive Wiper tab. Next, look for the drive you want to clean. Make sure this is not a working drive. Above you'll see a scroll down tab and it's marked free space only. Click the tab and click on entire drive. Then it would ask you how many times you would like to scrub the drive clean. The bigger the drive and the more scrubs will take longer. The software will open a window telling you the drive is clean and you can go on to the next drive. So now I tested 86 hard drives and out of all 86 hard drives, only 20 of them were in good working condition. So now I'm going to scrap 66 hard drives. Oh boy, here we go. All right, that was a, a little 
technical for the video. But um, for scrappers that are out there that want to make more money, this is the way to go with the hard drives or you can just do what you've been doing before. Just taking them apart and just selling for scrap. Um, this is one technique that I did and there are many other ways. There is many different types of software out there that can show you how to do this. A lot of you guys are not going to agree with what I did. A lot of you IT guys or you guys that do computers say, no, he's doing it wrong. This is one way of doing it. And for you guys that have a hard drive that looks like this with the spindle and it doesn't have that screw that goes there, what I usually do is I would put this on a vise on both sides and hit this little spot here with a screwdriver and a hammer or if you have a nail set, pop it right there this puppy will come right out. All right, guys, so this is Mike the Scrapper. Please comment, like, subscribe. Till then, peace.